Hi guys, I'm Ghost Jones and welcome back to the Ghost Jones YouTube channel. Welcome back to another episode of Web Therapy. We're having a drink tonight. Why? Because I'm frustrated. Like, I don't understand life. And I get it. I'm in my 20s. Nothing is supposed to stay the same. Like, that only happens to, like, a select few of people. And I don't have to be that person. But, oh, my gosh. Like, I just... This is crazy. I don't know. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. Like, I'm so frustrated that I don't know that I'm going to even be the same person after this. Because, like, I'm starting to lose the point or the feeling or the want to be a good person to people. I'm just, I'm losing that. Like, I try to constantly be optimistic and I try to constantly, like, progress and value people's opinions and their feelings and, like, try to be there and be present. And ultimately, I have nothing to fall back on. Like, I don't really, excuse me, I'm not getting what I'm putting in back from people sometimes. And like, that is so heartbreaking and it's so annoying and you can only do it so many more times before you just lose it. And honestly, I'm at that point. Like, I don't know if this is going to be the last time that I'm, like, really just, like, kind and, like, have a heart. Or if this is, like, the second to last. But we're in that space that I didn't want to be in in life. You know, um, I get it. Sometimes I can be a little bit dramatic, I can be a little bit negative, I can be a little pessimistic, I understand all of that, but like, I have opened my heart too many times and, and gotten burnt too many times for me moving forward to not proceed with caution. And what does that caution look like? I don't even know. I can't even say. Like, I'm literally just on this camera just talking to you guys because, like, I don't have anybody else to talk to. Like, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know how to comfort myself. The best thing that I know how to do is to, like, come to this channel and just rant. And even that is kind of sick. Like, I should have, like, the people that I can call or somebody that can just come to my home. At least I feel like I deserve that. Like to just call like a friend and be like, hey, babe, pull up like something. But like I was speaking to somebody earlier today and they were just like, I mean, yeah, it would be nice for you to have that. But you do need to learn how to like, you know, coddle yourself and make yourself feel better. And maybe that's what 2024 is going to be all about. Maybe this is going to be the year of me where I just focus on myself. Because honestly, last year I had so much going on. Like I was in a relationship or I was in and out of a relationship. Like I had, you know, jobs. I kept hopping from job to job. Like all of those things, like I kept, I was going through so much stuff with my friends. Like I kind of like left all of those people. And now, like, I came into 2024. Is this 2024? I don't even know. what Whatever year this is, 2024, 2025, something, whatever. This year, I came into this year with things, with certain things set or certain things planned. And I was expecting them to go a certain way. And it just seems as though none of that is going to happen. So, like, now I'm just kind of, like, shook. Because, like, I'm an earth sign. So, like, we like to be stable. We like to have things, like, fixed in certain areas. And right now, I don't have nothing fixed in any area. And I don't know what to do with <laughs> Y'all, like, please somebody help me. Like, somebody. Like, if you are watching this video right now, I urge you to comment. Like, call the police. Do something. 
Send me your phone number. We can cry on the phone, anything. I don't know if this is like a call for help or what. Like, I just, I really don't know. Like, I'm just like this big ball of emotions. And I don't know how to like put them into anything. I seriously don't. Mm. If only y'all knew how much of a fool I feel like right now, y'all would understand. Y'all would understand. Baby, this, I, this, the stuff that's going on here is like no other. Just to give you like a little bit of an insight, um, I was dating somebody heavily, or at least what I felt was heavily. And all of a the sudden they feel as though this situation is not the best situation for them and they want to move on. Well, all of that is fine and dandy, but like we had a whole ass date Like, we spent the whole ass weekend together? And you're telling me randomly, now, out of the blue, that you just don't see this working any further. To me, like, that's a cop-out for something else. And then, like, when I try to, like, you know, dissect the situation... And try to figure out, like, okay, is it something that I did? Or is it something else that you're feeling? The person wants to, like, lock up. And I don't like that. Because, like, for me, if I'm around someone long enough, I can always, like, pinpoint when they're feeling away. So, like, the world works so crazy Because yesterday, I had that conversation with this person. I said, hey, you know, um, is everything okay? Because I feel like something has shifted. Something is different about this. But I don't know what it is. And then I was reassured that nothing was going on. But you always have to trust your intuition. You really do. Because, like, not even 24 hours later... You're feeling a whole another way and you can't even tell me why. Who does that? Like, that is very emotionally immature and just, I don't know, immature, period. Because, like, for people to always want to, like, value like open lines of communication and like all of these things. And then when you like make room and space for that, people don't want to do that. That's like so cowardly and I don't appreciate it and I don't respect it at all. I just don't. And then like, here I am like trying to like still want to understand because I can see that, this person may have some other stresses in their life. And do I think that they should be dating right now? Probably not. Maybe they're not in the best mental space for that. But like, I had already accepted that I was going to have to do a lot of like work with this person. And I was okay with it because I'm used to having to like do all of that with people, whether like they're just friends or, you know, want to be romantic, like all those things. Like I'm really good at meeting people where they're at. So it's just like, I kind of already signed myself up for that. And maybe I shouldn't have. Like maybe when I realized what all was happening, I should have walked away. But like, for me, I have such an issue with like abandoning people, like when they're in moments of like need, because that's happened to me before. And I don't ever want to be like, the person that does that to somebody else. You know, like, it doesn't feel too good. And I don't, I just, I can't, for the life of me, like, 
just who I am, how I'm wired as a person today, I just cannot see myself seeing something wrong with somebody and just being like, I'm out. I just, I can't. But maybe that's what I should start doing. Because like, to be honest with you, I have like done this with people. I've done this with friends before and I got nothing from it. Like, look at where I am today. Not to say that I'm not in a good situation. Like, I have my own space. Like, I have, like, a career. Like, I have a good-paying job. Like, I have all of these things. I have a car. I'm healthy. I don't have, like, any issues with that. Like, on paper, it's fine. But, like, as far as, like, friendships and companionship, where am I? I'm back at square one. Like, there's only so much of that a person can take. And right now I'm just at my wits end with it. And like the better thing to do would probably be to just stop dating. But like, I don't really even want to do that either because I feel like I owe it to myself to like have that love or like experience a relationship with someone, a loving, caring relationship and like truly grow and build with somebody. I'm owed that as a human. I truly deserve that. And that's truly what I yearn for. Like, everything else is just straight up possessions. Like, it's just things. Like, those things don't keep me warm at night. Like, ultimately, I feel a little lonely. I really do. Like. And it's not a good feeling. It just isn't. Like, I'm just, I'm really, like, just frustrated with myself. Like, I don't... I think that I just get like really vulnerable with people so quickly and it has to stop. Because now what I'm starting to think is that people are like preying on that and exploiting it when they shouldn't. I don't want to have to put a wall up, but it's almost time that I do. Like, I've been that person before, especially when I was younger, like when, you know, my father passed and like I had all of those things and just kind of like growing up as like a black gay guy in the South, I had to have certain walls up. And then, you know, when I was doing that, I was cold. I was callous. I wasn't kind hearted. I didn't care about people. I lacked empathy. So like now that I've like decided to break all of these things down and not be that person anymore, I'm still not getting rewarded for it. So like, what was the point of me doing that in the beginning anyway? I would have saved so much time. I would have saved so much worry, so much stress that has like been put on me. I really would have. Like I I really am in my heart of hearts, I believe and I feel like I exhibit that I am a really good person and I'm really caring, I'm really kind. But like, what is all of that really worth today? Because here I am kind hearted once again with nothing to show for it. Like, and I can't make people, you know, emotionally responsible for me because that would be a lot. Like, you, you can't ask that of somebody. Like, that's not fair. But, like, y'all don't want to consider my feelings at all. Like, 
just like a tinge? No? Okay. So, I'm taking all of this as The love factory is closed. We won't be doing this again. I'm going to have to be a little more cautious with people, like whether it's friends, coworkers, all of that. Like I guess it's time to put the guard back up. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of me just like ranting and raving and just kind of like spinning in circles. But like, these are like my raw emotions right now. Like these are like my raw thoughts and raw opinion. So <laughs> I'm a little tired. I'm going to take these clothes off. I'm going to get in my shower and get ready for tomorrow. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, you'll probably hear from me soon. Talk to you later. Peace.